Hey guys, it's me, Lady Sin. This is another episode of Goth Mom Confessions. Uh, this episode is going to be all about the perfect mom. So, the perfect mom. Now, whether you agree to it or not, whether you're aware of it or not, we all, as mothers, we start putting ourselves in this class of moms that we see all these other moms and they look like they have everything together right um we have i think everybody has their own unique view of what a perfect mom is and we're jealous of the perfect mom we all desire to reach that level every aspect of what we do is governed by this fear of not being that mom or the goal to become that mom and we need to stop it <laughs> because there is no perfect mom um, and you know and this can come in so many different little forms you know when you're at the grocery store and your kid is screaming their head off and all the other moms are looking at you now those moms are looking at you like oh my god i want to go help but it'd be weird if i went and go, got, uh, went to help um oh my god girl i've been there that's what's going on in the other mom's heads that's why they're staring they're not staring at you because you're doing this wrong they're not staring because you don't have your kid under control they're not staring because they're judging you they're literally staring because in their heads they're thinking back to when they were there and when that happened and they're like oh man that was a bad day you already have the center of attention now because your kid has made it so <laughs> um, but on top of that you're in your own head thinking oh my god i'm the worst mom oh my god all these other kids in here are behaving and and their moms are you know in complete control and i'm not oh my god it could be something that little um but i but rest assured you none of the moms that you uh, run into or encounter in the store um have never had that happen like it's happened to all of us and it will continue to happen because we have a schedule our babies have a schedule they don't always sync up <laughs> so they're either tired or hungry or bored and we're just trying to get through our day and get as much done as we possibly can because the perfect mom has a completely clean house and clean children and they're fed on a schedule and they eat fruits veggies and all the perfect food groups and I also wear makeup every single day and I look amazing uh, and I keep fit and I make sure my husband's happy like that's that's what's going through our heads the whole time <laughs> Like, if I don't get my kid home right now, they're going to be late to eating dinner or lunch or whatever. And it's okay. It's going to be okay. Is, is the kid with you? You didn't leave him in the hot car like an idiot? I'm, I cannot right now with everyone leaving their kids in their fucking cars. How? What the fuck are you doing? I have two toddlers. Never once was I like, if I leave him in the car, it'll be easier. No. <laughs> How many innocent lives do we have to lose before we realize, oh, hey, the car's not safe. The car's not safe, guys. The car is not safe. The car's not safe when it's parked. The car is not safe ever. <laughs> like, when did we decide that was a safe place for the kid to be? I just... <sighs> Sorry, sidebar. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, are you keeping the kid with you? Is it fed? Has it been fed in the last four hours? Uh, is it clean? And if it's not clean, are you planning on cleaning it real quick, like real soon? Um, <laughs> like, I just, you know, you have, like, there's definitely some things that you need to make sure are happening. As long as you've got those under control, you're good. 
a friend once told me, and this I think stuck with me since I was pregnant. There's a triangle. A triangle of motherhood. Your sanity. Happy kids. Clean house. Got it? <sighs> Choose two of those. Any two. But guess what? You are not going to get that whole triangle no matter how hard you try. Uh, it is not possible and it is not a challenge. It is literally just, hey, don't try to reach that far because that is when really bad things happen. <laughs> we lose our sanity. That is usually the first one to go in that triangle. <laughs> um, if your house, I mean, we're not talking like hoarder levels of filthy, but if you've got toys strewn across the entire living room and you don't pick them up right before you go to bed, it's fine. It's gonna be okay. You can, at that point, get extra sleep to ensure your sanity <laughs> and your kids are happy. So, you know, uh, but hey, if you want a clean house, if you're just obsessed with having a clean house, you're not gonna be sane. <laughs> Because I know every single mom out there is going, happy kids is going to be the only one I cannot skip on. And you are absolutely right, and I'm right there with you. Uh, happy kids is going to be one of the choices every single time. Uh, so my, my advice is just let the house be dirty, especially when the kids are toddlers. There's just not a lot you can do. Um, and why? You know, like how many people do you have coming visit? You know, is it the in-laws that you feel pressured to clean up for? Trust me, they were there. They may not remember it, but they were there. And if anybody's giving you a slack or, you know, giving you a hard time because the house isn't pretty, fuck them. I mean, don't actually fuck them. That would be weird. <laughs> uh, but no, just, you know, sh doesn't care. I don't care. This is not your kids. This is not your house. Let me do my thing. Okay. So yeah, anyway. So just a little friendly advice. That perfect mom achievement is going to drive you insane. It's going to drive all of us insane. Let's stop holding ourselves to that standard and let's stop trying so very hard to kill ourselves. <laughs> Let's just make sure our kids are happy and healthy and the rest, it'll wash itself out. Eventually those tiny, adorable, chubby little face babies are gonna be teenagers and they're not gonna give a crap about you. They're gonna be leaving the house constantly. You're never gonna know where they are. And at that point, you can kind of embrace some of yourself again. But until that point, Let's just make sure we got some squishy, happy babies in our hands and cuddle with them and take as much time as you want with them. Uh, but thank you so much for you watching, you guys. You are amazing, you are gorgeous, and you're perfect just the way you are. If anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it.